this uh, webinar, uh, Maximize Availability of Database and Applications uh, uh, and how uh, you can align IT with your business. Uh, this is a webinar series uh, and uh, in the webinar series uh, for aligning IT with business, this is the first webinar. Uh, this webinar is uh, exclusively uh, uh, designed uh, for uh, small and medium sized businesses uh, considering their challenges and uh, uh, the, the solution for those challenges. Any point of time if you have any questions you can type uh, those questions in the chat window which is available to you and uh, we will be happy to respond to uh, the questions during this webinar or after this webinar. So this is a standard disclaimer uh, and uh, now let's move on to the, uh, the topic uh, which is about the business challenges. So if we see uh, the small and medium sized businesses uh, uh, typically go through uh, different kind of challenges uh, compared to the, the large enterprises. And there are many solutions which are built and uh, best practices are available uh, for these large enterprises and how can we uh, use those uh, by certain modification in a smaller enterprise. So let's look at the, the business challenges in a, in a small medium sized uh, business. Uh, one of the challenges is about implementing new solutions that the business requires. Uh, in this, uh, where, where the business is already uh, always in terms of the growth uh, uh, mode or changes in the in the business priorities or the new acquisitions and new business scenarios where where the business expects that IT provide them with newer solutions uh, to address the, the situations like maybe asking for uh, a new ERP solution to be implemented uh, or. Uh, maybe the uh, ac uh, accessing the applications which are already there in an enterprise on the mobile devices. Uh, so, so such are the that's one of the main challenge uh, uh, this research paper talks about. Uh, and uh, the the other challenges are like peace of mind. So, uh, for uh, these uh, small medium sized businesses, the challenges are the the folks which are working in IT is that every day is kind of uh, with the new challenges and uh, uh, new uh, firefighting scenarios uh, can be there and how is that uh, they can get a peace of mind and where, where they are able to proactively add value to business instead of that the time goes in kind of a firefighting situation. Uh, the other uh, challenge is containing IT cost which is uh, uh, ever increasing pressure there uh, with, with current economic situations. Uh, and there are other challenges like hiring the IT staff uh, and maintaining their uh, their expectation during uh, their uh, stay in the organization and uh, doing more uh, with fewer IT resources. So, so these are the challenges which the small and medium sized businesses have uh, in managing their IT. Uh, let's look at what is that uh, the, if we look at it from the, the managers, business managers and IT managers who are uh, running the show in, in these organizations, what kind of a challenges uh, they face uh, uh, in, in, in the, their day-to-day -day, uh, operations. Uh, so, uh, so, so these, these are the challenges uh, from the IT manager's point of view. Uh, this has been listed, uh, taken from the book published by uh, IT Service Management Forum, which is a renowned uh, body in the in the in this space. Uh, so, so they list the key challenges as uh, uh, IT business alignment, uh, IT and business strategic pl planning, measure the IT organization effectiveness and efficiency, outsourcing uh, IT activities or insourcing and smart sourcing, and how to do that. Uh, and then managing cost of business and managing the changes in IT. So, so there are various challenges at, at IT manager's level uh, one sees uh, when they are dealing with, with uh, uh, 
uh, IT operations and uh, running the IT support of the organization. So if these are the challenges, what is the solution? Let's look at that. Uh, so the solution, uh, what uh, we feel is that the, the organizations, uh, the, these SMBs, they should be uh, adopting is uh, following certain best practices and the tools uh, used elsewhere in in the industry uh, in the larger enterprises and then so so this is it's about IT service management managing IT uh, as a service organization uh, rather than an IT organization uh, uh, which is a traditionally been treated as a cost center so getting a, a specialized organizational capability uh, for providing value to business in the form of IT services so that specialized capabilities you can gain through uh, uh, using the, the best practices and another is using the tools. Uh, uh, so the best practices are like ITIL, the IT infrastructure library or tools like uh, BSM, uh, business service management. I'll talk about ITIL and BSM uh, further in more details uh, during the uh, uh, during the next slide in, in next slides. So another is uh, the IT infrastructure management. So management of uh, help desk in a streamlined fashion, managing the servers, managing the networks and uh, applications, critical business applications for the enterprise. So when you are going to do that, uh, you should be doing that with, with the context that there are four important P's in that uh, process, uh, people, uh, products and partners. So. So you should basically worry about those. You should be uh, having that there are these four dimensions when you are providing IT infrastructure management. And if you are taking them as important uh, aspects, uh, uh, then you will be able to provide much better IT infrastructure management uh, to your organization. So let's go into more details about what is talked in this slide. Uh, so what are these four P's? Uh, the four P's are uh, one is people, uh, the, the people in your organization, especially in IT. Uh, and uh, second is process, third is product and or technology and fourth is partners or suppliers. So uh, when we talk about people, uh, the, they are very important stakeholder uh, in this uh, IT and business alignment. Uh, there has to be a cultural change, uh, uh, the approach. Uh, towards handling the, the IT. Uh, so they should be more treating that they are like a service organization and having that cultural change and uh, ability to correlate to users uh, in a proactive fashion. That is what is needed when we talk about service culture. Uh, and then if one has to get that kind of a change, then process trainings uh, are going to be the important tool for organizations like ITIL training which is one of the uh, commonly available uh, trainings uh, that will help people to get sensitized on this topic and kind of use those in day-to-day -day, uh, uh, interactions. Uh, second is about the process. Uh, on the process side, uh, uh, one should uh, follow some best practices like ITIL is kind of uh, becoming a de facto standard uh, in terms of uh, improving the uh, IT's performance and IT's business alignment if they want to go in that path, ITL can be a very good uh, uh, framework and best practices which can be used by the organization. Third is about the product and the technology. Uh, in this context, uh, one should basically uh, worry about uh, is the BSM or ITSM tools uh, which kind of help you automate uh, certain aspects uh, of when you are putting the ITL best practices uh, you definitely need some automation and some software uh, tools which will help you uh, institutionalize the, the practices which you are going to have in your organization. So, so that's the third aspect, the third P and the fourth one is the partners or suppliers. And in this context, uh, I would like to uh, call them as the RIM infrastructure uh, or IT infrastructure providers, the, the service providers who provide uh, as an external uh, uh, organization provide helping you in 
uh, remotely doing the infrastructure management uh, for uh, your IT and uh, we'll talk about that again uh, in more detail in the next slide so um, so important things to take uh, away from this slide is that you have these four P's important dimensions when you really want to have IT and business alignment and these are like people process product and partner so uh, in terms of four piece uh, and uh, let's talk about uh, these in the context of small and business uh, small businesses and medium sized businesses because these ITIL uh, practices and uh, uh, and BSM tools uh, uh, or the remote infrastructure management uh, rim is typically been used by large uh, organizations they they these tools and these processes got developed and used predominantly at at that scale so uh, so so those essentially may not be the realities uh, 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 for small and medium sized businesses as far as their business priorities are concerned uh, like they may be worried more about uh, about uh, availability of applications rather than uh, compliances uh, in different countries or it may be like the relevance may not be higher uh, on the security side if their applications they are going to use uh, in in within their uh, organization and within their premise rather than uh, uh, accessing over web and uh, distributed access in different countries another aspect is if you are going to adopt these uh, tools and processes the cost overheads they, the small medium sized businesses may not be able to uh, digest the, the cost overheads which the large organization can uh, accept uh, and the other aspect is duration of implementation because they can be bulky and they can be like a overkill for the, the kind of challenges which small and medium sized businesses have so one need to kind of fine tune these things while uh, the good part of these process and tools can be taken they need not be used as it is when you are going to use that uh, use these in the small medium size uh, setup uh, so so that's this is what viom labs approach is they have a lighter version of itil bsm and uh, remote infrastructure management uh, and if that is uh, used, then it will help uh, SMB segment in IT and business alignment. Uh, we'll talk about this. Uh, what is this lighter version and uh, how to uh, go about uh, adopting these, these lighter versions in your organization. Let's go to the next slide. So we talked about uh, ITIL uh, and uh, uh, it's, it's IT infrastructure library uh, set of books and uh, best practices uh, used across the large enterprises and if we have to do uh, ITIL light if you have to use then it's basically implementing key components of ITIL uh, to achieve the sound IT service management uh, in a SMB setup that's what we will call ITIL light uh, so so ITIL light is uh, when, when, when ITIL, uh, if you see they have service operation, service transition, service design uh, and service strategy and continual service improvement as five important books and many processes and functions are talked about in these books and uh, all of them may not be the priority for uh, these uh, enterprises which are small and medium and that's where you have uh, you have is uh, a, a subset of ITIL uh, processes which will kind of help you uh, in, in your setup and we suggest that like service desk, incident management, problem management, uh, change management, uh, service level management, service catalog management, asset and configuration management, knowledge management. This is one set of things, uh, service support side of things which will help you uh, if you follow these uh, uh, ITIL practices uh, uh, processes in your organization those will be sufficient uh, for you to kind of uh, uh, handle your current priorities the other aspects like availability and capacity management and uh, service continuity management 
these are uh, service support, uh, service uh, uh, processes which will help you in terms of uh, uh, taking care of server availability and such stuff and then you have uh, something called as uh, service measurement service reporting and service improvement in this area you will basically spend energies in terms of what is what are the places where you can have uh, uh, scope for improvement and uh, uh, in terms of the current service levels taking them to the next uh, level so that's that these are the things you should be worrying about rather than worrying about like service strategy and uh, demand management and such things which are talked about in ital v3 so so our approach of ital light is like uh, it is uh, itl v3 improvised uh, and uh, uh, so so you take best of itl v2 and best of itl v3 and that that becomes itl light and it has to be kind of in your uh, organization context uh, it should be kind of improvised but in a, in a generic sense uh, we have put these uh, aspects as itl light uh, in 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 this slide uh, which will be generally suitable for smbs uh, business service management uh, this is another uh, point which is talked in the earlier slide so let me try to explain what is business service management uh, this is basically a management of business services delivered to business customers so uh, it's it's about managing your erp system your procure to pay life cycle application or a sales application and it is delivered uh, with with a service approach and uh, it is delivered uh, for the business customers so when you have to do these things you really need the tools uh, to do uh, to do such aspects so so many of the software vendors uh, they have developed the products uh, which the, they offer and in that case they refer these products as uh, itsm or bsm tools uh, and uh, that's how bsm when somebody refers it typically in the industry refers it to the tools used in in, in uh, business service management uh, bsm consists of both structured processes and enabling software and through this mechanism you will be able to institutionalize the processes which you really want to uh, implement in your organization bsm allows it departments to operate the service rather than the individual approach of cis or assets so uh, and a technology silo mode so bsm bsm helps you in terms of doing this treating it and the, the the issues in it or changes in it according to the business service uh, rather than the technology component and there are a lot of tools which are available as uh, for the large enterprises and they are really big and mammoth uh, uh, and they take long time for uh, implementation uh, because they are complex if they handle the higher level of complexity higher level of integration ability and things like that uh, while that may not be the necessity in in the small and medium sized businesses so that's where uh, we suggest uh, bsm light uh, as the the approach and in bsm light what we are doing is like quicker value uh, from smb's point of view how do we get uh, uh, for the investment a quicker value rather than taking it a longer time to realize that value uh, business focus so has solutions which are focused from a small business uh, so medium sized businesses point of view uh, and having a business service view approach instead of uh, it only view so there are smaller tools which are available in the bsm space but they they treat it uh, these these uh, solutions concentrate more on a silo approach of monitoring one server or having a ticketing tool which is basically going to take care of uh, uh, more the technology aspect rather than a business service aspect so 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 bsm like says you need not compromise on the tool set uh, by not having business service view which is an important aspect when really you want to have a it and business alignment and then the fourth is lightweight solution suitable for sme segment this is what we we say uh, when when we uh, when uh, when we say bsm light these are the aspects that tool should be addressing 
Now let's move on to the next slide where uh, we, we, we detail out what is uh, BSM light. So BSM light uh, uh, essentially consists of the software uh, products and solutions which address these key elements or initial elements of, of uh, the, the BSM and ITL implementation in your organization and they should be able to address those aspects uh, uh, in, in the tool uh, which is incident management, problem management, change management, configuration and asset management and knowledge management. Uh, so that is about service desk and uh, additional solutions associated with uh, service desk, uh, service desk plus and then monitoring uh, uh, site and monitoring and management of servers, databases, application and network you should be able to monitor uh, through these uh, solutions uh, and then uh, third is business service reporting uh, in which you get a dashboard and analytics and reporting for business services like your CRM application or P2AP application, you are able to have a, a reporting wherein you can drill down, you can uh, get a, a dashboard view, you will be able to identify the improvement areas and then uh, prioritize the things based on the business service rather than the, the IT components and uh, go into a continual service improvement cycles. So these are essential tools you should be having, uh, maybe over phases, uh, but but this is what uh, BSM Lite uh, solution should essentially have. Now uh, let's go into the third aspect uh, which is uh, we have talked about is the RIM uh, is, a, is an important component when you want to have IT and business alignment and in, uh, in RIM when we say RIM it is a, it's a popular terminology uh, being used in the industry but essentially it is IT infrastructure management uh, either on premise or uh, remote. Uh, when you are doing it remotely, it's remote infrastructure management uh, uh, that is RIM. Uh, now you should be having an approach of giving out something outside your organization to the specialist uh, who will be able to take care of certain critical components in much better way, uh, possibly because of uh, the scale, the, the depth and the skill level, the, the continuity, the usage model uh, of resources, they will be able to do much better than what you will be able to do within your IT and that's where you should take help of RIM. Uh, RIM helps you in terms of cost reduction, uh, higher quality uh, of service and increased accuracy uh, which the service provider can bring in. These uh, RIM service providers typically provide the server management uh, services, database management services, network management services, application management services like your SAP application or uh, Microsoft Dynamic appli Dynamics application or Oracle ap applications, the Oracle's ERP uh, or they will basically providing storage management services or a service desk help desk for your, your desktops and IT uh, to your users, uh, that kind of a service. So, so this is about the RIM services uh, and you should essentially uh, consider those uh, when you have uh, such situation where somebody else will be able to do better than just keeping it in-house and then you spending in that energies in terms of aligning uh, those resources which get freed up for more strategic initiatives within within your IT. So, so that is about the RIM services and why you should be using them. Uh, RIM traditionally been used by large enterprises uh, and typically entire IT infrastructure is kind of outsourced to one or multiple companies. So, uh, so we feel that that approach may not be suitable for small medium sized businesses and hence we propose the RIM light as the approach. In RIM light, what you are doing is uh, you are choosing an agile RIM partner, the partner who essentially not looking at very, very big volume of business from one customer. Uh, another is partial IT infrastructure management outsourcing rather than the entire IT. So, so if let's say that uh, SAP applications and their support is something which is an internal uh, priority and challenge at your end, then you should find out a RIM vendor 
who will be able to provide that kind of a support. Maybe few people on site, but predominant work is done remotely and uh, that's where you will get the rim advantage or uh, remotely basically getting the support for your database databases which is uh, multiple databases and you really don't want to maintain those skills and uh, the the depend uh, the criticality is very high uh, if something goes down and you really want you that kind of responsibility to somebody else so you will want to have uh, partial IT infrastructure outsourcing and giving it to the vendor who is specialized in certain areas. Not every vendor will be specialist in every aspect of IT so you can selectively do the outsourcing. Uh, maintaining in-house in staff is important for you and you can basically focus on how is that they can work on more strategic initiatives. Then the engagement model need, need, should not be or need not be a, a resource augmentation model. It, the preferred model in RIM should be from your side is outcome based engagement model where you are paying for the outcomes rather than number of people working on uh, your uh, assignment. And then uh, another aspect is in RIM is you should not be doing uh, RIM without having your own tool sets uh, wherein you have your own BSM solutions, processes and reporting format and reporting tool and which you will be able to use coordinate across different vendors and you should be able to make your vendors accountable by having your own processes and solutions uh, wherein you will be able to find out whether they you need to have penalize them or you want to kind of incentivize them for the kind of service they have provided and you will be able to do that uh, effectively for a single vendor or even if there are multiple vendors there so we have talked about ITIL, BSM and RIM Lite uh, and let's try to put the, all these things together in, in, in your setup. Uh, so, so when we say ITIL Lite, it is about uh, processes. Uh, when we talk about BSM Lite, it's about the product and it, when we talk about RIM Lite, it is about the partners. So how is that these aspects you will be able to uh, prioritize and put in, in your uh, organization what is that the first thing you should be doing what is the next thing you should be doing let us talk about that here so uh, when you are going this process and product path you should be doing processes and product as a part of same chain cycle uh, the chain cycle in your organization rather than getting consultant to write processes separately and then finding out the products in the market who meet which meet those processes because uh, nowadays these products are something which will have inbuilt processes uh, within uh, the product and there can be some fine tuning needed uh, in your organizational context but if you try if you do that as a part of same chain cycle where your ITL processes you are going to implement in your organization and you choose the product if both of these you do it together you save in terms of the cost and the time for getting these things implemented so so let's say that you are going by for the phased implementation so in the phased implementation first phase you should be concentrating on is in establishing the 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 processes and the, the bsm tools for service desk and uh, service level management uh, service desk including incident management and problem management so, so these are the first phase things wherein you will be able to have uh, tickets coming in for your IT from the users uh, and when they are coming in you are able to categorize them, you are able to have SLAs associated and you will be able to report back the kind of a performance which you have in responding to the, the, the request from the business side and user side. Uh, so, so that's the first thing you do and then the second phase you will basically take up is monitoring of critical servers, applications, databases and networks. So uh, so that's where you start into getting into proactively managing IT uh, uh, and you getting the alerts before or when there is certain problem, uh, when there is certain outage or deterioration of service which is happening and uh, you get to uh, get to get that into the service desk and you, your IT folks support folks fix those before like users report them 
to you uh, calling uh, your service desk. So, so these are the things you do, uh, monitoring side of things you do in the second phase. In the third phase, you worry about asset and configuration management, uh, wherein the assets are uh, important investment uh, from the business side. Uh, in IT, and you really want to track those assets and want to have a configuration management system in place so that you will be able to effectively do uh, analysis if something goes wrong or when you are going to have changes done in your infrastructure, uh, you want to have a configuration and asset management piece uh, implemented uh, in your organization. And another important aspect is change management. That's where uh, you will be able to have control over your outages during the changes uh, which happen and uh, that's the these are the things you will do it in third phase and in the fourth phase uh, you will have is a reporting framework comprehensive reporting framework put in place uh, which will help you in continual service improvement so this is about the phases of implementation and if you are taking the the rim part outsourcing some of your it infrastructure management then uh, you should typically do that after you have implemented the first phase wherein you have service desk and uh, SLM uh, in, in place, you will be able to manage your uh, RIM vendor effectively. So, uh, so you will basically outsource based on your business needs, uh, selecting vendors based on the expertise you should do rather than giving out everything to one vendor. Uh, and then using the uh, ITI light and BSM light uh, to manage the vendor performance because you then you have your own tool your own processes which which the vendor will follow and then you will be able to find out how they are performing uh, so so that's about uh, putting the things together so let's take uh, talk about how do you uh, <clears throat> improve the availability of databases and applications uh, in, in your environment and because these are uh, important aspects uh, for the business uh, that uh, these their uptime is high and how do you achieve that so let's consider the a small medium sized business uh, which is uh, a auto component manufacturing company and they are facing challenges in terms of uh, uh, losing business because of the time downtime of critical business applications like the SAP applications or a CRM application. So, so what what is happening here is this this enterprise has let's say distributors and they are accessing the 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 application and uh, the the manufacturing setup is also using the application and if there is certain downtime of these applications then distributors are not able to place the orders. You are not able to know the inventory and then there is kind of uh, a, a loss of information and uh, the losses to business because of that. So, so that's the business scenario. And then, how do you address this? The, here, here is how the enterprise should address it. They set up ITL like based processes for uh, incident change, problem management, availability management, and service level management. So that should be their priorities. And then, they should implement the tools, uh, BSM light tools. For server monitoring and they should put in service desk and change management application uh, then they should basically have a rim partner because it may be that the, the in-house strength uh, not sufficient for uh, managing these applications so a partner who is good at uh, managing the underneath databases and the applications uh, uh, to support these services and then uh, you should have a to manage your vendor whom you are outsourcing these things, you should have tools which will give you the picture about how, how the vendor is able to provide the services to you. And then uh, over the period finding the improvement areas about the quality of service which is provided and the kind of uh, incidents there are or changes which have happened and based on that kind of going into a continual service improvement mode and uh, achieving the higher availability of your applications. So, so that's about this uh, uh, the the light approach for ITIL, BSM, and RIM. Let's go uh, and find out how did we use this for our own customers uh, through some of the case studies uh, shared here. So, so this is the organization which is a, a, a organization which has 
critical dependency on databases and uh, uh, applications and uh, this is how we address them we provide them remote database management services is it's 24 by 7 support proactive monitoring space management performance tuning patching all these are in under the scope so what we did is we took a ITEL light approach defined the SLAs and defined the mechanism for uh, assigning incidents to us uh, we use BSM light approach wherein we, we kind of have had a a uh, tool which is uh, suitable for uh, this engagement and we took the we, we have a tool called as viom itsm edge uh, which basically uh, uh, takes care of uh, and it is based on bsm light uh, principles and uh, approach uh, rather i should say and uh, it has this this uh, incident management chain management slm and uh, monitoring of servers uh, and analytics dashboard solution built into it so we use that and then the rim light approach wherein uh, the customer is not uh, outsourcing everything they are taking giving us the the database aspect and managing databases and we, we have put l1 l2 l3 engineers uh, who are and and the engagement is based on uh, uh, not on number of engineers but the kind of quality of service they they, they receive and the slas we meet so, so, so that's that's the rim light approach, and uh, uh, what so the business value which the customer got here is the outcome based engagement model rather than a resource augmentation based uh, model, and the cost saving because of uh, uh, this approach of delivering services remotely and using our own tools to do that. So, this is the next uh, second case study uh, wherein this is a small. Uh, this is a medium size uh, technology company and then the scope of work is service desk, server management, database management, network management, uh, security and storage management. It's a 12 by 6 support. Uh, so the approach we have to have taken here is uh, again based on the, the, the suggestion uh, we have had uh, during the earlier part of this uh, uh, presentation. So we used ITIL light, BSM light and RIM light. Uh, and then kind of in ITIL we, we basically categorize the kind of a service and uh, SLAs we have associated uh, for uh, for the ser different services we provide. We use the BSM Lite tool uh, and then uh, we, we, we have done these things remotely and uh, again the engagement is SOW based uh, and uh, uh, statement of work and SLAs associated and the customer is paying for the, the, the service rather than and the outcomes rather than the resources which we have, we have deployed on the this project. So this is uh, about this webinar. Uh, to uh, Before I close, uh, I would like to share uh, some more information about Viom Labs and what is that we do. Uh, so we, we, we are uh, take pride in aligning IT with business and help uh, customers uh, in, in their journey towards that. Uh, so we uh, as a company we uh, founded in 2003 headquarter here in Pune in India and we have offices in Bangalore, Mumbai and Delhi uh, in, in India and uh, uh, office in US. Uh, we have presence in many countries uh, via partners uh, worldwide uh, in Middle East, in Africa, in uh, Australia, in Europe. So we have provided services uh, in different countries uh, uh, and this is our focus. It is focused offering and uh, aligning IT with business uh, by providing services and solutions in IT infrastructure management and IT service management. We have 500 plus employees, uh, we are ISO 20000 certified organization and got that in 2007. We are the first company in India to have ITIL accreditations and using those practices in all our services. We have worked with customers ranging from uh, Fortune 50 companies to growing manufacturing organizations. So we, we are uh, kind of a right size organization for different uh, companies and of different size. and. Uh, we specialize in providing these services to uh, small medium sized businesses as well. 
these are our offerings uh, itl light uh, in that we basically have consulting based on itel uh, and itl light approach uh, itel training offerings we have uh, second is bsm light so we have a solution set called as viom itsm edge uh, solutions which are available uh, as product packages uh, and we provide is integrated service desk which include uh, incident problem and other related service support processes we have a tool uh, called as viom itsmh for monitoring and itsmh for reporting uh, in rim uh, light uh, remote infrastructure management services we provide for servers databases applications like oracle applications or sap uh, network management services storage management services and uh, service desk uh, aspects uh, some of our clients uh, different verticals and different geographies that's it uh, if you are